So in problem number 43 of section 2.6, we're given uh, the data from uh, the velocity of a race car between time equals zero and time equals 14 seconds. And we're asked to use uh, the trapezoidal method to um, approximate uh, the distance traveled by the race car in this time. So what we're interested in is computing uh, the, inter the integral of um, the velocity with respect to t uh, from time equals 0 to 14. Uh, but of course, we're not given uh, an actual uh, formula for velocity. We're just given you know, a few data points. But we can use those points um, in the trapezoidal method to, to figure out the distance, or at least to, to approximate it pretty closely. Uh, so trapezoidal method says we first need to look at the change in domain value, which is um, uh, delta t or 2 divided by 2, and multiply that by uh, well, the velocity at time equals 0, which is 0, plus 2 times the velocity at um, time equals 2, which you notice the values that I've written here are different than the ones in the book. Uh, in the book, you're given uh, time in seconds, and then you're given um, velocity in miles per hour. But can't really, we need to make sure we're working with the same units, so I've decided to change the um, unit of time to seconds. But then just to make the numbers a little bit easier to deal with, I change the velocity to feet per second. So multiplied by 5,280 over 3,600. So at time t equals 2, rather than the velocity being 15 miles per hour, the velocity is now 22 feet per second. And plus uh, 2 times 96.8 uh, plus 2 times 120.2667 plus 2 times 134.933. Plus 2 times 158.4. And finally, plus 170.1333. Now, if you add all these up, um, you find that this is approximately equal to 787, uh, I believe it's 0.86. 787.867. And the units, of course, are feet since we changed uh, the velocity from miles per hour to feet per second. So between time equals, um, this should be approximately, between time equals 0 and 14, the race car travels approximately 787 feet. 